All right, guys, so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a dual PC stream setup with three monitors and an Elgato HD60S while using a Astro A40 mix amp for your microphone and hearing game sound. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is first plug your gaming PC, which is the one that I have LEDs and everything in. You're gonna to wanna to plug the HDMI of that into the Elgato HD60S. So that's coming straight from my gaming computer, hooking into the Elgato import HDMI, okay? After you do that, you're gonna wanna take the USB power cord, I think it's a USB-C, and plug that into your streaming computer and connect it to the HD60S. Now after you've done this, you're gonna wanna go to your gaming computer. So for an example, um, my middle monitor is for my gaming computer, as well as this one for my gaming computer. And this one over here that has Streamlabs open is for my streaming PC. So I have two monitors for my um, gaming PC and only one for my streaming PC. So first of all, what you're gonna wanna do after you get everything all hooked up, you're gonna wanna go onto your gaming computer and you're gonna wanna download uh, the Elgato gaming software. So once you do that, you're gonna wanna make sure you download sound capture as well because that's what's really important here. Um, I'll try to put a link in the description for the downloads for it so that you can just click on them. Um, but once you get them downloaded, you're gonna wanna go on your gaming computer. Now make sure this is on your gaming computer because originally I tried it on my streaming computer and it did not work. So once you're there, uh, go to PC gaming where do you want to hear your gameplay? You want to hear it through the Mixamp Pro because if that's where you're hearing your actual game sound from your actual gaming computer, okay? And then you want to go to which output should your Elgato game capture device be connected to? You want to make it connected to the Elgato HD60S, okay? This is where your output is going to be going as well as your Mixamp, okay? Then you're going to want to go to Advanced Make sure this is checked, default device for playback, default communication device for playback. Make sure all of these are turned off to mute and your audio input is turned to nothing, okay? So once you get all that set up, you can just exit out of that. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is open your sound, okay? Go over to recording, headset microphone, which is your mix amp. Go to properties, go to listen, you're gonna to wanna to click listen to this device and play back through this device on your HD60S Elgato and continue running one on battery power, which doesn't really matter. But this is very important because if you don't do this, um, the listen to device, you're gonna have multiple channels over on your streaming PC um, and you'll get an echo, okay? And then levels, you're gonna to wanna to mess with. Um, right now I have mine at 70 and I found that that's a pretty good, um, pretty good level to keep it at for talking and everything, you can hear yourself during the gameplay and it's not overpowering. Um, now you might wanna turn this up a little bit depending on how you talk, um, stuff like that. But that's basically all you have to do for that. Um, and then if you go over here to the streaming PC, you can see that I'm talking right now. Uh, the, my headset's picking up my microphone mic and as you can tell, it's only one channel. This is good because like I said before, you're not getting any echoes. Um, you're not having any problems with hearing stuff twice or your voice not coming through. Game chat comes through, everything comes through here. So I guess one last thing that you're gonna have to do is if you go over to your gaming PC and you go to um, settings, or no, sorry, 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 sorry. You can just right click on your home screen and this is where you're gonna set up your displays if you have three monitors. Once it loads. Oh, that's why I was loading settings. Okay. So right click on your home screen, wait for it to pop up, go to display settings. I guess I could have got through it through settings. Now here, you're gonna want to connect your main monitor to your Elgato. You see how this says one dash two. Now to do this, you can go to multiple, multiple displays click duplicate desktop one and two. Now this is making your main display 
that I have pulled up right now, the same as your Elgato, which is where you want to be capturing your gameplay. And then for your third monitor, it's gonna be just right over here. That's your monitor for Discord, Spotify, um, just looking stuff up in case you need it on Google, stuff like that. So that's all you really have to do. Um, that's the whole setup. If you guys have any questions or it didn't work for you, go ahead and look in the um, comments and I'll try to get back to you guys. And for visual people out there, I made this uh, pretty crappy um, diagram, but so this is this is pretty much why I explained earlier in the video. Uh, coming from your gaming PC, you want the HDMI plugged into the Elgato. Plug the Elgato into the uh, streaming PC with the Elgato power cord. You have your mix amp power. Oh, well, I guess I didn't explain this. You have your mix amp power cord coming from your gaming PC into your mix amp, right? And then just go straight to your headset. Follow the rest of the settings that I had for sound and the levels and everything, and you should be good to go. Like I said, if you have any more questions, just um, tell me in the comments. All right, guys. Thank you.